Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Akshay, and I recently completed my MS in Computer Science from California State University, Fullerton. Now I'm working as a product manager. And if you are someone who is planning to study in the US and thinking about choosing Cal State Fullerton for your MS, I'm sure you're wondering: Is it worth it? Will it help you land a job, or are you better off choosing some another university? So today I am going to share my honest opinion, the good, the bad, and the unexpected. So make sure you stick around till the end because we are going to discuss about on-campus jobs here and how to get them, total cost of MS, and how difficult the coursework is here, and which subjects to choose. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let me give you a quick answer before we actually begin. If your priority is budget, CSUF is a great choice. If your priority is branding, research opportunities, or a very strong alumni network, you will have to work a bit extra here. So to sum it up, choose CSUF if you want an affordable MS in CS. You are comfortable with self-learning and networking, and you want a big Indian community and have fun on the campus. And well. Don't choose CSUF if you are looking for top tier research opportunities. You want a university, as I said, with a strong alumni network, which will help you eventually in job placements. Or you don't want to compete in large batch sizes because CSUF has, I would say, one of the biggest batch sizes out there. Now let's start with the biggest question. How good is CSUF? Now, CSUF is not a top-tier university like Stanford, CMU, or Berkeley. Branding-wise, it is, I would say, on the lower end. So that means, as I said, alumni network is weaker. So you won't find many CSUF grads working in very big positions in big companies. There are some, obviously, but less as compared to other universities. And recruiters don't automatically recognize it and reach out to you as they do to colleges or universities with a higher level of branding so you need to put in a extra effort to land good jobs here now next let's talk about coursework CSUF coursework i would say is pretty flexible it is not as intense as other top tier universities and you can choose easier electives to make your life easier if you want to focus on you know extracurricular studies or internships so that is up to you some professors are really good while some are just okay now from my personal experience if you network and talk with professors on your own you can learn a lot notably one of my professors was a product manager at google so i specifically took his class and got inspired from him and explored product management for myself as well so it is up to you one thing i would say to watch out about is the prereqs i personally missed checking if i had prereqs assigned and i had to do extra subjects to cover up for them even though students from my same university who had taken the same course in my undergrad did not have prereqs the and the department was not of much help so i would say you win some you lose some so make sure you have prereqs and try to get them knocked off if you have then equivalent subjects beforehand now Talking about the cost of MS and the best ways to save money here would be that each subject here costs approximately about 2.5k dollars and we have to do around 10 subjects to get a master's more if you have prerequisites. So the total tuition fee comes out to be 35,000 to 38,000 including the medical insurance and all if you add living expense in it the total cost for entire master's degree can go up to 45 lakhs to 50 lakhs INR the best way to save money here and to make your life easier would be to find an on-campus job because these jobs pay around 16 to 20 dollars per hour so monthly you can easily make around 1000 to 1200 dollars if you work 20 hours completely so that completely eliminates your living expense and uh, your total cost get you know cut down by half i would say if you land an internship as well if you start applying from your first semester and you land an internship you can even pay off one or two semester of your piece too so getting jobs say, like is the best thing which can happen to you 
secondly if you ask me how to get jobs here then on campus so i would say start applying early there is university portal where you can apply to on campus jobs even before you land here so that helps a lot if you network that helps a lot too because if you network with seniors before coming here you get to know if a department is hiring and i would suggest when you land here visit these offices and departments in person carry your resumes and ask if they have any open positions that helps a lot too me personally i was lucky enough to network with some people and i applied to my job early and i got a job into csf it within my first week of landing here so that was a huge win for me uh, in terms of you know my expense here in the us now some very good type of on campus jobs are it support jobs even if you have basic tech skills you can do these type of jobs very easily like working in the it administrative roles like working in different departments business department of csf usually pays very good salaries i have heard so try there if you get a chance and the best one of them but which do not help on resumes as much are dining and cafe jobs which you know get you free food good pay but physical exhaustion is more over here so choose accordingly if food is something which you prefer working a bit extra shouldn't be a problem <laughs> for those of you who are not great cooks like me i basically am still getting lessons into cooking so that i become a good cook <laughs> next we would talk about how to land a job here after graduation so in reality career fairs here in csf don't help you the companies which come over here are either not looking for computer science students or even if they are they are looking for local students citizens basically who they don't have to sponsor and i would say this is a situation of all the universities even the top tier ones and in this current market scenario everyone is struggling so the most important things are you know to start applying for internships even if you don't get internship like i came in winter so i did not have an opportunity to apply for the first summer session over here and in summer following summer too i could not get an internship luckily there is a thing called co-op now co-op is a thing in which you can work part time so it's it is like an internship but during your semester so internship typically is of 40 hours per week you can work for 40 hours but in a co-op which is during your semester you can work 20 hours per week so i luckily got that and through that i networked with some people one thing led to another and then i got my full time job offer through that so that is the easiest way to secure a job to land an internship or a co-op and to convert it next you can cold email to hiring managers you can send follow up emails you can be a bit proactive and increase your chances here because here in the us i would say there are opportunities but fortune favors the what is that saying fortune favors the people who try so keep trying it it is a number game i would say if you send hundreds of linkedin connections and hundreds of job applications one or two of them will make an mistake to hire you or consider you so <laughs> keep doing that and lastly i would say target mid size or smaller companies because there you would have better chances as compared to big mnc's and less competition too so my final verdict would be that if you want an affordable ms in cs and are ready to hustle a bit cs cf is a solid choice for you plus it has a great weather and good destinations around it is very close to los angeles to malibu to pch stretch if you have seen my previous videos you can see how beautiful the surroundings are but if you expect a strong placement support and research opportunities or as i said less competition and uh, stronger alumni network you should consider other options especially if money is not a problem for you if you have money go for better universities so if you have more questions about studying in the us drop them in the comments If this video helped you make sure to hit like and subscribe for more MS in USA videos so until then bye bye i will see you guys in the next video have fun bye